Hello creators. US Studios is back with part 7 of the ABC integration series. Starting with this tutorial, we'll take a closer look at the features of ABC. To do this, we will go through each of the categories piece by piece. What we're starting with, I'll show you now. Let's get started. So first, we click on our player. In the inspector we search now, the ability manager, and open them. Here we today begin. Let's start, from top to bottom. We already know the first one. With this we load, our weapon template into the inspector. Let's click on it. Now we take a look, what all this and the inspector exactly do. And what options you have. In the first section, we find some details and some tags. Here you can. Set a name, icon, and a little description. Please notice that this has only effect on the template you can import or export. With the tags you need to know, if you change them you need to click on Refresh Unique ID to avoid duplicates. Next we find our weapon settings. Unlike in the first section, this relates to your weapon directly. You have here Modify Weapon. We cover this in a minute. Below you have a preview of your weapon with your description. Under them we have the same, but only for the abilities. Here you can find all settings related to attacks, skills, and effects. Which in this case, currently are on the one-handed sword. You can also see this in a list below. At last here, you have the modified AI. This contains any rule for your enemies, companions, or friendly NPC. Before we jump now inside the manager, we go a minute back to our window. We have here two overrides. It basically does exactly what you see, with one difference. These two options are work only for locally ways. Last you find the modification and action type. For example you duplicate your weapon, but you want to have a other type. Is this the setting you need? This is highly important, because otherwise your abilities will not work like you want. Directly below, you find all the abilities, what your weapon currently has. But here you can also open the template, to adjust it, or for a quick access. On the left, are all the main mechanics, you have a list which shows, all your weapons your player or character currently has. Also in search bar and filter. Very useful if you have tons of setups on your characters. For example if you now want to add, and weapon to your player, you can directly import here. As well as remove, duplicate or export, your adjusted template. If you export a template, you can see it also, in the character creator. Important here, import and export, I will cover in a separate part, a bit deeper. Because there come some more features and changes to it. But don't worry, this will not have an effect, on your imports and exports you already have, or want to create. Let's go to the next step. First we click here, to open our template again. Now we open the, modify abilities window. Please notice, this can take some seconds, to load all the tons of settings up. Once open, let's choose, the first attack of our combo. Here we see in the middle, and setting what's called, prepare time. With this setting, we need to begin. This setting is required, to activate the prepare settings. For example, if I set the value, back to zero, we will see an error in the preparing category, like that. So let's go back, and set a value you like. I will also enable, the show on UI, for better show later. The two other settings, I explained you now. The first one, maybe confuse some people. Alone from look on it, you will think this disables, the prepare time. 
but with this enabled, you can control the prepare time over additional effects. So keep in mind, if an effect does not work with your prepare setup, you will find in most cases, here the solution. The second will cancel your cast when you move. With the value set up, we go now in the aesthetic field. You will see that we can enable it now. Let's do that. When enabled, we can see now all the preparing settings. In this window, I don't think I need to explain so much because you find under each in description what tells you exactly what the settings are due. Here we set an animation. I will use for show just the attack again. You can of course use any clip you want. After you found one, it's time to see it in action. You can now see a new progress bar at the top. First it plays the prepare clip, and after the value we set ends, activates the hit. Of course, that's just a basic example. You can use it for a lot more, multiple casts, charge attacks, or even for total crazy teleports. That's it for this part of the tutorial guys. In the next part we go deeper into the initiation category. But before this video ends, I will answer to a question I got over the last week. First go to my booth shop. The link you find in description as well. On my shop, scroll a bit down, there you see an official collection. Open them, and scroll a bit down to the description. There are two points, I will explain a bit. The first point, is that collection is made for people, where don't want to search hours, for the right posts. All rights of them, goes of cause to, the designers itself, and there are free. The second point, is a bit more important. A lot of people searches on YouTube for example, the characters. But to 80% are this game ribs, and not allowed. Be carefully, with models, what are not official released. They have, an eye on people in that case. Because with such models, you can of course also share, before they are out in the game. And trust me when I say, they hate leaks. I hold them on my shop up to date. When a character is released. Mostly a hour later, I have them already added. So that's all you need to know. You can download all at once, or separate, if you only need a specific one. I hope that helps a lot of you guys, we see us in part 8. US Studios signing out.